Hello, we're Malta and we're going to discuss a oil painting, an English oil painting. Why is it an English oil painting? Well, the subject is a very English subject. The frame is a high Victorian frame of very high quality. So we'll discuss the frame first. It's a handmade Victorian frame. I'll put the date at 1870, possibly a bit earlier. Uh, it is made of pine. On top of the pine, they put fabric to hold it together so that if it changes shape, and heat, the gesso won't crack. You'll find on medieval and Baroque antique multi-gilt frames is often fabric over the mitres to stop this cracking. So the fabric is not a new thing. What they've done with the fabric is they've taken the opportunity to use it as a decorative effect. So the fabric in this case has a herringbone pattern or diamond pattern and it has a thick gauge. So when they put on this fabric onto the pine, You'll see in some places it shows through giving a, a texture rather like fish scales or, or cross hatching, Venetian style cross hatching. So, on top of the fabric, I then use gesso and smooth it out. On top of the gesso, they put red bowl, B O L E, which is the undercoat to gilding. And you'll see on this frame, you have the smoothness created by the gesso, the cross hatching texture created by the fabric. You'll see the red bowl and you'll see the gold paint. There's no gold leaf left on this picture frame. It is gold paint, replaced gold paint. But the frame is a very expensive frame. And if you look at it from the side, you'll see it has substantial depth and, and shape. It's what's called a swept frame. Swept meaning you have these swept, swept shaped curved sections. So you've got some scallops on the corner, you have some foliage trim, and it's, it is a basically a regurgitation of Baroque. Fundamentally, you've got these shells, Rococo, Rocale shells, and it's, it's coming through the, the Victorian style, and it's come out as this, and it's a very, it's a very good frame. Okay, um, the back, we'll do the back next. The back is a very good back. You're going to buy an old picture, this is what you want to find. You want to find a frame that has the same texture as the actual painting. The painting here is not on canvas, uh, and the market does like canvas. The market doesn't really like boards, but boards are good because they don't damage so easily. So here you have a shop-made, purpose-built black on the back anyway, black artist board and that is set within a pine inset which is set within the frame. The frame is visibly old and has antiquity going back to the, the age of the frame and I think they were put together at the same time. This frame has got these reinforced corners which means it's not a cut down mitered frame from a larger picture where they've just sliced it to make it smaller. This is all intact. The inset has gesso on it and real gold leaf. You, when you take it out, have had it out, you can see the gesso has been put on really, really fine and on the sides you can see it. The finer you get the gesso, the more shiny the gold leaf is and that has got real, real water gilded gold leaf on the other side. You can see that it overlaps and it's bright, beautiful. You have the panel, which has had a, probably the artist would have given it a, a, a background colour and then start his painting. You have a label, it says the Fisherwoman, and there is a, a name I can't read. This is all the sort of papering in you expect to see on an old painting like this. Baddeley leaves, I imagine it was the framer because the sticker goes over the artist to the to the inset frame. It says two crystals from A. Langley Leeds, Leeds again. So, you know, I don't know if it's been, if it's been to crystals or not. It certainly, these are some sort of thing they would, would have sold uh, in previous years. Whether they want a Victorian picture of this size now, I don't know. Um, so, I think the back is very good, They're very good plus. Someone who has better eyes than me and have more time than I do can look at this name more and try and read it. There's another label here, that's the, the label for the manufacturer or retailer of the artist board. Okay, so there's a lot going on on the back. If we go back to the picture, 
and you know it's the last thing we're talking about but we're, we're really dealing with a picture here obviously what have we got well we've got a cockle dredger i know from my years in england dealing that it's a, a cockle dredger and a, and a cockle net and the essence of cockle dredging is it is a low grey menial laboursome job and you would get children to do it you get wives to do it women to do it so this farmer's wife or fisherman's, fisherman's wife or fisherwoman or peasant has walked down the mountain to the estuary where there's mud flats with her her uh, cockle dredging net she's gone without any shoes on she's taken a bucket with her the dog has carried a pail of some sort with a lid maybe even her lunch and they she spent the, the day dredging cockles dra dragging the net through the mud and the flat bit would disturb the mud the, the cockles would go in and then she'd rinse the net and have her have her, her haul and that was really dangerous work on the estuaries because you have the tides and you have the mud it gets stuck in the mud Morecambe Bay in England is the, is, the, is the notable cockle fishery now, which uh, is very well known in England, but there are thousands and thousands of places in England where you can take cockles from the sea still now, in, as I say, estuaries and inlets. So I, I think that this is going to be a Scottish, Lowland Scottish Victorian painting. Now that doesn't narrow it down a lot because when you talk about lowland Scotland, you, you know, you're in, in, in theory talking about Northern England to a degree, east or west, so I don't know exactly where it is, but you've got craggy mountains in the pit with a pink heather colour. You've got, a, uh, you've got an inlet. Um, you, you've got a Scottish sort of outfit. And uh, where, where it is in Scotland, I have no idea. It could be England, possibly, but uh, I think it's much more likely to be Scotland than Northern England. I don't think it's continental, I think it's almost certainly going to be a Scottish painting or, or certainly a British painting. It is 100% cockle net, not a, it's not a, not a parasol, not an umbrella. I see them described as umbrellas and so on, people don't know what they are. Um, and um, that, that is the scene. And I have two at the moment, two cockle fishing pictures, and you do, you do actually see quite a lot of them in England. The picture is painted on the board which on the back on the back the back is black and the picture is held in this inset with water gilded gold leaf which is this here and it is held behind glass so this was a really carefully put together picture frame to display the picture there is a monogram here i don't know what it is i've looked quickly i can't find the artist the quality of painting here is very good so to give you an example you've got individual grasses they're not clumps of grasses. You have individual grasses and they're painted in different colours and they have the seed heads on and they have the split in the, in, the, in the blade of grass. You have the net painted very carefully. You have a very good sky, a very good background of blues. It pushes it into the distance. You have the hairs on the dog individually painted. You've got grass in the midground and sea and detail on the clothes, the toes, the face, the hands. So it's a good painting. The subject is not an exciting subject to me. Uh, it is a sad subject to me because it shows this peasant lifestyle and this endurance and subsistence farming that was fashionable, obviously more fashionable in the Victorian era. I think because the frame is the original frame, albeit refinished, and the picture is in good condition, and the back has all that history on it. I think it's a really, really good picture to buy. Uh, there is a lot of Victorian paintings out there. This one is certainly well above the average quality and desirability. Thanks for looking.